Tony Loco featuring Martinez right here on WinnieCDunderground.com. Turn me on like the radio. Tony Loco featuring Martinez, a public announcement. Oh, uh, I, I don't. Yippee yay yo, yippee yay yay, public I, announcement? I, that's, that's what. <laughs> Body bumping, public announcement? <laughs> Is is, is, that, is was there a guy named Martinez on public announcement that you remember? Um, not to sound offensive, I don't remember it being a Mexican or Latino <laughs> person in the group. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a traditional Hispanic that, name. That name, that's, yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. Maybe he was mixed. But uh, yeah, that's Tony. Them was all some dark brothers. You know. <laughs> anyway, uh, shouts the, out to public announcement. Uh, the draft happened this week, and. Thursday. Thursday. Started Thursday. Started Thursday. Uh, Cam Newton was your number one pick. Uh, do you have any problems with that? Not at all. Uh, has the highest upside as far as the quarterbacks in the draft. Has the biggest chance to be a superstar. So, no, not at all. This is what kind of pissed me off. What you got? Being from the Central Division. NFC the, North. I'm sorry. The N- NFC North. I went back in time. I'm sorry. NFC North. Seeing <laughs> that the Detroit Lions. Picked up Nick Fairley from LSU. Auburn. Man, I'm thrown. I'm thrown right now. Dominant <laughs> defensive tackle. At times, the way he dominated the SEC looked better than Indomitian Sue did when he was at Nebraska. What 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 are the Bears gonna do? Well, I mean we got we got a tackle from uh Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. The funny thing about the tackle that we got from Wisconsin, uh they show, you know, with the Bears drafted him, with the next pick the Steelers picked up uh Cameron Jordan, right? Cameron Haywood, uh huh, from Ohio State, uh huh. The first highlight they show is of the Bears' brand new tackle <laughs> getting blown <laughs> up, put on his back <laughs> by the guy the Steelers just picked. I was like, well, okay. So that just lets you know, Chicago sports fans, what you are in for. So now, I we, tell you what, if you're Jay Cutler, you just pissed the bed for one. Yeah. Two, keep your head on the swivel. <laughs> Three, the Detroit Lions. I'm not okay. I'm not going to say because some people are kind of going overboard. Exactly, and I was just about to bring the Detroit Lions <laughs> back down to earth. Come on, go ahead. You guys have had good drafts before, right? And it does not translate. I've seen years where you guys have gone six and two in the first half of the season, uh huh, and finished that season seven and nine. Right. You're not that good. I don't care what you say. Matthew Stafford has potential to be good. Calvin Johnson is great. And Dominican Sue was great, but. Uh, you need, some, but here's the thing. With with the Detroit Lions, they need Matthew Stafford to play exactly. a the, full season. This is a quarterback league. And as much as Nick Fairley and Ndamukong Sue are going to get to the quarterback and probably hurt a quarterback, <laughs> right. you need something more out of your quarterback position. If if Matt Stafford gets hurt again this year, you have to let him you go. You have to cut ties. You, you have, have to cut to ties. let him go. And you have to think about maybe trading for Jimmy Clausen. That was yes. a joke. Yes, you're going to have to do but that. It's, but it's real. It, that's how real it is. This was an interesting prospect coming in. He has what you like to call a what? He has a howitzer. Okay. Howitzer. He can put some what on the ball? Some stank. Okay. <laughs> like there's certain people that, oh, man, he's got an arm. He can throw. No, no. But then there's a whole nother level when you have a howitzer. Certain now, guys have a howitzer. There were some, some people that took Ryan Mallett as the second best quarterback in this draft. Off of just talent alone. Pure talent-wise, he's probably the best as far as the way he throws the ball. Right. Traditional drop-back quarterback. Ryan Mallett's probably got the most talent in the draft. But Arm talent. Some, Howard, sir. Some off-the-field problems, character issues, if you will, yeah. have dropped him down to the third round where the Patriots picked him up. I think this is a good situation for Ryan. This is trouble for Ryan. Why is this? Why? This is trouble. He is in the Patriot locker room. What? All right. So let's just throw it all out there. Okay. Let's, let's, let's full disclosure. Uh, the reason why why Ryan Mallett dropped, I guess they said he had a cocaine problem. A cocaine. He, he was a Alleg- partier. Yes. Yeah, he partying. drank. Allegedly, mm-hmm. he was uh, he was on the booger sugar. Okay. Um, I, this is why this is a problem for Ryan Mallett. Okay. He was expecting to be a first round pick. Yes. First round quarterback. What are you looking at as a signing bonus? Oh, it's millions. A couple of million dollars. Mm-hmm. He snorted through that. <laughs> <laughs> That's been snorted through. So. He's expecting a certain amount of money that comes with being a first-round pick. So, so he's already in debt. He's in debt to <laughs> local drug dealers. <laughs> you drop to the third round, that signing bonus drops to a couple of hundred thousand. Uh huh. That's gone. <laughs> I'm just saying. And we're in the lockout. We're in the lockout. So he's not getting another check. <laughs> so he snorted. He snorted through the signing bonus okay. already. 
and some. So he's starting off in the red. He's starting off in the red. Starting so, off in the red. So Ethan needs some. Ethan needs some help. He's selling pads, playbooks, <laughs> helmets, face masks, towels, sweats, whatever he can get. Whatever he can get his hands on at the team facility. You better thank God they locked him out. Because he was going to take the lockers if they weren't locked down. Ryan Mallett, boy, that's you can't come in as a coke addict. <laughs> like, you can't come in. What we say, like, because we, we hear that a lot during the draft time. Character issues. Character issues. This uh, is a different type of issue. More than that, Jamie Smith, Jimmy Smith? Jimmy Smith. Uh, from uh, Colorado. He got in legal trouble. That's different. A little legal trouble. There's some guys with the marijuana issue. I'll take a guy that smoked a little weed in college. I'll take a guy that's gotten arrested a couple of times. But if you come in on coke already and you ain't had no money, <laughs> now I'm about to give you a couple of million to give you an unlimited supply of, of coke? cocaine. By week seven, he ha will have burnt through whatever money he has, <laughs> even after the lockout is over, and he will at that point begin to freebase the cocaine. <laughs> And once you are free basing cocaine, you are now smoking crack. <laughs> and that is the lowest level of junkieism. Oh, man. So uh, it's real cool to go to a party and watch people snort coke on the table. It's not cool to light that pipe. <laughs> There's nothing sexy about that. So uh, what do you think of his prospects uh, in the league? Uh, with that being said, uh, if we can get him on a nice 12-step program, uh -huh. I think Ryan Mallett can work out. I like the way he throws the ball. Uh, he can spin it. He's weak under pressure, though. Watch very, very watched him so. in that Auburn game, yeah. crumbled. Yeah. Watched him in that uh, Ohio State game, crumbled. Yep. So if, I don't know if that means he was on Coke or off Coke during those drives. Okay. So we need to figure out if he plays his best when he's high or when he's not high. But uh, like I said, he can throw the ball, flat out throwing the ball. He, he can throw the ball. He, he might have a career like Jay Cutler. Cam Newton, you think you think he would turn out to be all right? I like Cam Newton. I think Cam Newton's got a lot of uh, I, my, a lot of Ben Roethlisberger. My, my problem with the, see here's a, here's a, here's the thing, Ben Roethlisberger got drafted by a good team. They had a deep, they, he had a squad around him, a running back, wide receivers. Heinz Ward was out there and a dominant defense. Cam Newton, he got he has a couple of good run, running backs, but this, this Steve Smith don't even want to be there. This is the difference between Cam Newton and probably. Anybody else on the planet? He took a team in Auburn in the SEC, mediocre, mm -hmm. and he elevated them to the best team in college football. Amidst all the stuff that was going on, as far as did his father take the money, all the media pressure, all the scrutiny he was under, he bounced back, man, and he played his best football at that point. So I don't think anything that he's going to deal with his rookie year in Carolina is going to bother him. We'll see. We will see, especially if we actually get football. Handle our business. Oh, we're going to get football. <laughs> You, you can get that off your mind. Ryan Mallett will make sure we get football. <laughs> Taking a break. More music on the way. It's Mind of Med on WindyCityUnderground.com. Your music, your station. We're all about you. WindyCityUnderground.com.